Over the years, we've glossed over the subject of what truly constitutes Zambian playing philosophy, but no tangible results have come up. Given the various cycles our game has gone through over the years, it is not easy to define what constitutes a purely Zambian playing style. It appears we have over the years borrowed from a mix of philosophies driven by different coaches that have drilled our national teams at different points. We have borrowed from the pre-independence strong British influence that saw some British teams share exchange programs with Zambian clubs. We had a lot of British experts coming to Zambia to share their football knowledge and experience. We also flirted with the East European bloc through the then mighty Yugoslavia, Poland, and Romania. Many of you will also remember that German, Netherlands, and Denmark did connect with Zambian football through trainings of various coaches and administrators. Ladies and gentlemen, why do I mention all these experiences? It is simply to show that our football culture has been a mix of various experiences from across the world. At the local scene, Zambia has had to deal with some football philosophies which are indigenous to the respective regions. Clubs previously ventured into the enclaves of the Northwestern, Luapula, Southern, Muchinga, Western, Eastern, and Northern provinces looking for certain unique kind of players. The Copper Belt, Lusaka, and Central provinces had their own influences based on their <coughs> urban setup. All these aspects eventually combined at national team to provide one brand of football. Ladies and gentlemen, as we brainstorm on what our football philosophy is, we must look back to our various generational milestones and ask some of the important questions. Does the Zambia national team of 1974, 1994, and 2012 identify by our playing philosophy? Is it the same for the 1980 and 1988 Olympic squads? We can talk about other squads that are remembered for having played some great football and try to seek answers. Ladies and gentlemen, I am particularly excited that the football family has decided to take a step to redefine our football identity. We must learn from other football countries that have embedded their identity on the global stage, like the samba style for Brazil, Toto football as espoused by the Dutch, Catanasio for the Italians, and the Spanish free-flowing tiki-taka. Finally, I wish to end by urging the participants to debate openly and ensure that this great initiative bears fruit. We will ensure that the document that will emerge from this convention will be preserved for successful generations. It will also be a key teaching tool for our coaches with our planned coaching school that is in the pipeline. Most importantly, I also want to uh, acknowledge uh, the presence of the key experts. I'm actually very excited to see a combination. I think in this room from the time I got into FAS, I've worked with uh, Coach Wedson, Coach Beston, Coach Agre, with the national team, together with uh, Coach Luandamin. So when people write that I'm the one who changes coaches, these coaches have always been part and parcel of our history. And I'm also happy to see that uh, we have the coaches from the under 17, under 20, as well as our women coaches who have done a fantastic job that we are yet to, to do on the men's side by reaching the Women's World Cup for the first time and also having qualified to the Olympics twice in a row. All that has not come by accident, but it's been achieved under very difficult conditions.